A subpoena and a warning send shares of Chipotle lower. The company still reeling from food safety issues, reported a big decline in December sales, much bigger than expected. Also gave a weak fourth quarter outlook for both sales and profits. And to top it off, Chipotle said it was served a grand jury subpoena in California. That all sent shares down nearly 5% today. Look at the slide. It is off 40% during the past three months. Jane Wells with more now on what's ailing Chipotle. When it rains, it pours and bad news for the restaurant chain whose motto is food with integrity. But it turns out the biggest surprise in Chipotle's release today involved an incident here in Southern California last August, which didn't get a whole lot of attention. It was an isolated outbreak of norovirus at a store in Simi Valley, which sickened over 200 customers and employees, allegedly after an infected employee came to work. We have reached out to the U.S. attorney here about why a federal grand jury has subpoenaed Chipotle in a criminal investigation, what documents it's looking for, Chipotle saying it is fully cooperating. That August incident has been followed by well-known outbreaks of E. coli and another norovirus incident in Boston, and those have really hurt sales. Chipotle now estimates same-store sales for the fourth quarter will be down over 14%, its first drop since going public. Sales plummeted as much as 37% during one week in December. At the same time, though, it plans to buy back a lot more shares. In December alone, Chipotle repurchased over $200 million worth of shares, though at prices almost $100 higher than where they are now. So what should investors do? A lot of analysts say wait and see, which seems to be what a lot of customers are doing. Telsey Advisory Group says, quote, the silence in Chipotle's dining rooms is deafening. But Baird analysts are, quote, warming up to Chipotle shares at current levels, hoping the worst, if not over yet, will be over eventually. Stay tuned. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Los Angeles.